Hello, welcome to this section of the Circuit Analysis Tutor. We're going to again continue talking about inductors uh, and continuing uh, you know, your understanding of how those guys are going to operate. So before we talked about the incredibly important relation uh, that the voltage across the inductor was equal to L di dt, the rate of change of the current. And just for, to refresh our memory, uh, you know, what we're going to do is say we have some kind of current source, an inductor here with some inductance L, and because of this arrangement that we have, uh, this is I, so what we really have is we have I going down, and so we have a voltage drop V. So the most important part of this thing is to show you that in an inductor, the, the current is going down here, we have a voltage drop across it, at least in terms of the convention, V is equal to L di dt. So we know how to calculate the voltage when we know the current. If we know the relation for the current, then we know the voltage. So then I ask you, well then, what if, can we do the reverse? What if I don't know the current going through the inductor? What if I know the voltage across the inductor and I wish to calculate the current that's flowing through it? So the problem is kind of flipped around the other way. And um, I could give you that equation, but I really think it's more instructive to derive it because it's very simple uh, to do and it, it illustrates the point well. So uh, the voltage across the inductor is L di dt. Now this is the rate of change of current with respect to time. So what we're going to do is manipulate this expression and basically we're going to try to solve for the current flowing through the inductor. All right, but since the current is wrapped up inside of a derivative, you can't just solve for it like an equation. You have to use a little bit of calculus. So what we're first going to do is move this dt to the other side. So this is almost like a fraction. You can multiply both sides by dt. So what you'll get is v times dt is equal to l times di. Uh, di, excuse me, right here. So the only thing that we've done is multiply by dt on both sides. All right. So because we've done that, then what we can do next is ultimately what we're trying to do is we're trying to get i by itself. We're trying to solve for i. But i is inside of a derivative. So what we really need to do, let me rewrite this again, v dt is equal to l di. If um, I keep doing that over and over again, I don't know why. This is di right here. The only way we have a hope of getting i by itself is to take the antiderivative or the integral of both sides. So we'll take the integral of both sides. Remember, this is an equation. Just like any other equation, you can do whatever you want to both sides. So if it's algebra, I can add or subtract, or I can multiply or divide, as long as I do it to both sides. Here, I notice that the variable that I want to solve for, I'm trying to solve for the current, is wrapped up inside of a, a derivative. So that we have to do the opposite of that to both sides. The opposite of a derivative is an integral. So we're going to do 